Hey guys, what's up? It's Dustin and I'm back with another unboxing video. <clears throat> so today we're going to be unboxing the Geek Gear Wizardry Special Edition box from December. So we're most of the way through January right now. Their shipping has been lacking the last couple of months comparatively to what it usually is. Um, we got their regular not special edition box at some point last week from December. So I'm not sure if it is a them thing or a post office thing. Um, it does come international, so it usually takes a little bit longer, but I used to receive this on like the third. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but as always, I paid for this. They didn't send it to me. You'll get a completely honest review on everything that's in here. And when we open it up, we, we drop it. That's what we do. Uh, we look inside and that's what it looks like. The yellow wrapping paper doesn't mean anything for their uh, special edition box. It's just just whatever they put in there. So, <clears throat> a couple of cool things that I see immediately. Well, sad day. It's a wand box, but it's empty. <laughs> um, so I, s I see the wand here. I'm going to just kind of drop it back in its box. I didn't look at it. So we see the wand, and we see two wearables that we're going to put off to the side uh, that we'll look at here in just a little bit. So. Uh, I grabbed this when I grabbed the wand, so we'll go ahead and open it up. This is how they've been doing their some of their prints now on just black backing, and this is what the print looks like. So it is a Grindelwald print. I'm going to scoot this box over to the other side. Semi in the way. So it is a Grindelwald print that says, Magic blooms only in rare souls. Not a bad print. Fantastic Beast. I like Fantastic Beast, but I like the Harry Potter merchandise a little bit more. And then I just, again, with the, the rolled print <coughs> that doesn't like to stay unrolled. The next thing I see here is, looks like a licensed product. It's a travel mug. And it is really in there. Alright, so I think we got a mug just like this from them. A couple, uh, I might have probably in their last special edition box. This is just uh, the Weasley sweater for Harry, and it's got the silicone lid that goes on there. Um, oddly enough, the red one has an H on it too versus an R, so I'm not sure why that is, but that's the second item that we have. The third, it says quibbler undesirable number one so it is when xenophilius lovegood was printing the quibbler the way the death eaters wanted them to in the last book um, it looks like a notebook and it is so uh, on the inside cover there there's a weasley advertisement and then just uh, regular lined pages on a spiral notebook <clears throat> in the bottom corner it says quibbler i mean there's quite a few pages so uh, i will definitely put this to good use and we'll continue moving right along here. So, Happy New Year's from Geek Gear. They were stuck together. We got two of these. Uh, technically, we got three of these because we got this same card in their regular box. Uh, it's just saying thank you for subscribing to Geek Gear in 2018. <coughs> um... We also got this little uh, Noble Wands advert in the regular box. Um, and then this tells us what that wand is that we just got. So we're not going to pay much attention to that. And last but not least, we have <coughs> um, official contestant of the Triwizard Tournament, Dermstring. So I guess this is the Dermstring poster. I'm not sure, I'm going to take that, uh, we'll take the paper off so you can actually see it without the glare. Well, I say we will. This plastic is beating me. <coughs> so as always, no glass in the, um, no glass in the frame, but probably just for shipping purposes. So that is what it looks like, and I'll put better pictures in the... Uh, in the video as always so you can see what's going on there uh, if I had to guess they probably had different ones for the different 
uh, for Hogwarts and uh, Bow Batten. So we'll see in the spoiler card here in just a minute if they had different ones. But so that's all of the the items besides the shirt and the wand. So the first shirt that we see here is a long sleeve shirt. Uh, when I picked it up, I could see a phoenix on there. Um, and the it's a quote from Dumbledore that says, To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Uh, and that is from the Sorcerer's Stone, I'm pretty sure. Um, when Dumbledore is talking about uh, Flamel destroying the stone. And then the next uh, shirt we see is a short sleeve. And it is Hedwig. Well, it's an owl. Not really about Hedwig. Uh, and there's a dream catcher there with some different colored um, leaves. So this shirt feels a lot better than the shirt, the long sleeve. It is a uh, Glidden, Gildan, I wish I could say that. And the long sleeve, just like the last time, is a Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> It'd probably get better once you wash it. Um, but... Neither one of those shirts is bad. Um, I like both of them. I already kind of saw what this wand is in that little, in this little thing. So it says, uh, it's 13 and a half. The core is a Thunderbird tail feather and the wood type is mahogany. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's one of their wands from the Noble Collection. Or not, gosh, it's not the Noble Collection. It's Noble Wands. Um, so I do not think this is a uh, a character wand. It almost has like a Draco look to it, but not really. Uh, it's got some weird little flower right there, so it's definitely not Draco's wand. But um, this makes me sad. We got so many wands from them, uh, and they were always character wands, and now they have switched to their brand of wands um hopefully they get um a decent amount of feedback on that that people would prefer character wands and i know there's only so many character wands you can do um up to a point but i just personally I, i'm not going to subscribe to this uh because it is not character wands and i don't really personally care to have um a bunch of random wands around so, um, running through everything, favorite thing is probably going to be, uh, well, let's go over the spoiler card and then we will discuss that. <coughs> so, spoiler card. Uh, you have the Quibbler Notebook for $7.99, the exclusive Triwizard Framed Print for $14.99, and it actually looks like Durmstrang is the only one that is there, so I guess you couldn't get more than one. Uh, you have the License Artist Signed Poster. Uh, you could have gotten, uh, it looks like one or two of those, Dumbledore or Grindelwald. So, uh, the Dumbledore one said, everyone is scared of something. You have the, <laughs> the Travel Mug, which is $9.99. You have the exclusive noble wand and then there's a t-shirt here but it's not the t-shirt we got so i'm not sure if some people got that shirt and some people got the shirt that i got i'm not complaining or i don't know it looks like maybe we should have got three shirts because the other two shirts are right here so there's those two and then there's this one that I did not get. So if you got this box and you got this shirt, please let me know. I'm kind of curious as to why I didn't get that now. But um, it's a fantastic B shirt, so it's kind of me. But uh, so favorite thing <coughs> is probably going to be either the travel mug because I'll use it, or the Quibbler notebook because I will use it as well. Least favorite thing, sadly, is going to be the wand. Uh, I, I don't really have a use for the wand being as it's just some random wand that they put in here. So, uh, hopefully, like I said, they get some feedback on this to where they realize that people actually want the regular wands and not the ones that are designed by 
<coughs> sorry, their fans or whatnot. But let me know what did you like, what did you dislike, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right now. Just hit the subscribe button, and um, we will see you guys next time.